We're going to jump right into today's video. Robbie Harvey had uploaded a live stream here on YouTube. I'll link it down below in the description as usual. It's a little over an hour of a live stream. So essentially what happened, the Robbie Harvey had received two phone calls. The first phone call came from an alleged new victim of JP's by the name of Katie, who calls Robbie Harvey claiming that JP kidnapped her. He received the phone call at about 11 o'clock at night, and I believe the duration of the phone call was only about two or three minutes long. Unsurprisingly, Robbie called law enforcement after the woman hung up the phone and let them know what she told them. But when law enforcement got to JP's residence, they found nothing. Not on the same day, but Robbie received a second phone call. The second phone call is from this alleged victim's mother, this time accusing Robbie himself of being a pre accusing him of sending sex explicit text messages to her minor daughter the woman called accusing me of texting her daughter accusing me of wanting to meet up with her daughter accusing me of wanting to get so certain things from her daughter a child under age under the age of 18 this woman called me from a no caller ID. Let me show you. I, and I'm sorry, I meant to set this up for you guys. So there it is again, July 31st, this past Wednesday, this woman accused me of trying to meet up with a minor, her daughter. You'll see Robbie's reaction throughout the video. And he even gets his wife involved denying all of these allegations. So this caller ID that he's showing is coming from the mom because this phone call is about 919 in the morning. Basically, the mom was saying who we also learn whose name is Becky later on, by the way, so I can just stop saying the mom. Becky called and was threatening to expose Robbie and all the text messages and the conversations. Robbie's basically saying, no, there is no, I don't know a Katie. I don't know who you're talking about I don't talk to people like that so he already knows something's fishy Robbie is not worried about allegations what, who are, what are you talking about I don't even know what you're talking about I'm tired of your Mike and Miller that kill the guns and tells the poorest people on the planet that she's gonna kill herself and God intervened because he didn't intervene she blew her things out Keep in mind that Robbie has edited the video only for the sake of taking out uh, personal information if you don't stop I'm going to up. How so? You, uh, you think 150 million is a lawsuit? That ain't That's huh. nothing compared to what I have on you. You know yeah. that little girl about your blood? Your text messages? Yeah. I will post that all over today. Okay, do it. What do you mean I won't you stop? stop? You won't stop with your text messages. I don't understand. So you're telling me that just immediately the mom is coming out of the woodwork, calling in 9 a.m., threatening to physically assault Robbie. I'm a mother. I could understand if I saw stuff like that in my children's messages. I don't think I'd be calling the perpetrator themselves, I think I'd be immediately going to police. Becky has allegedly seen text messages that she's willing to post and expose of Robbie speaking to her minor daughter. That That's where she's getting at right out of the gate. Let me, let me help you understand something. Let me help you understand. The, but what do you want me to stop with? I want you to stop with your text messages. Uh, with who? anybody you're texting anymore as we go along i want you to keep things in the back of your mind okay one becky never mentions her name or her her daughter's name almost the entirety of the phone call even robbie just asked who anybody that you're texting with right now if i'm a mom and i got to i saw text messages on my children's cell phone and she's withholding the daughter's name for quite a while and being very vague when Robbie is coming straight out and saying, who are you accusing me of having explicit conversations with? Becky can't even say so right now? Interesting. What? I'm going to tell your wife everything. Okay. Continue. Okay, here, let me, let me bring her in. You can tell her now. Go get her. Okay, come on. Robbie's trying to make a point like, okay, I didn't do anything though. Like, come tell my wife, tell my wife who I was texting because it never happens. Robbie's wife gets involved and you'll even see her face. She doesn't believe it for a minute. Hey, Tiffany, come here. Tiffany. Hey, Tiff. Come here. How are you? 
Hold on, she's coming. This late, this lovely lady. Uh, I'm not lovely. Uh, she has something. <laughs> This lady is so sassy, oh my goodness. If this is real, I understand like her being angry and rude, but my goodness. She has something to tell you. Tell her who you are. Hi. Hi. If you don't help stop your husband from texting about his orgasms and jobs, he's going to jail. What? You could tell they're looking at each other like, oh, what? Okay, like this lady's nuts. If he doesn't stop texting my daughter about orgasms and jobs he's going to jail well who is your daughter she my daughter's 17 she's a minor no name won't give a name just she's 17 she's a minor that is none of your business wait a minute you just say it's none of her business you just said i i tell your wife and then she asks who your daughter is and you tell her that it's none of your business well do you have the if proof he doesn't stop he's going to jail this is the phone number it's coming from is this robbie harvey that's on youtube about Mike Miller every day of my fucking life? Yes, it is. If he doesn't stop, I, I want to run back what she what she just said real quick. This is the phone number it's coming from. Is this Robbie Harvey that's on YouTube? <laughs> About Mike Miller every day of my fucking life? Yes, it is. About Micah Miller every effing day of my life. Why is this woman almost like Micah did effing this? She blew her brains out. She did this like f Micah every day. Like she seems really 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 irritated about this case i'm posting it everywhere and he's going to jail okay you understand listen to listen listen to me you listen to me robbie harvey you text my daughter one more time who is your daughter orgasms and jobs you know who i'm talking about i do not know who you're talking about again completely elusive of the question will not answer the question who is she yes you do know this is the phone number. Is this the Robbie Harvey? Yes, it's me. Is this you? It's me. This is the number. Where is her phone? Let me see that. Right here. I'm telling you. It's the text message about jobs. What are you talking about? My daughter's not a whore. What are you talking about? God. Who is your daughter? You could hear someone in the background of Becky's phone call. Let me try to play it again real quick. The phone number. Is this the Robbie Harvey? Yes, it's me. Is this you? It's me. Because this is the number. Where is her phone? Let me see that. Right here. One, it sounds like there's a man's voice in the background. It could have been like a television or something. It doesn't really look sh like she's directly to talking to someone. But it sounds like right now she's like reaching for the cell phone and trying to grab the cell phone from her daughter. Like it sounds like her daughter is there, right? The phone number. Is this the Robbie Harvey? Yes, it's me. Is this you? It's me. Because this is the number. Where is her phone? Let me see that. Right here. Robbie, I'm asking you to stop texting my I daughter. I have not texted a single woman. Robbie, you told her when you come out here to South Carolina that you that she better come out and see you. And she's not. Stay away from her. Listen really, really closely if you can to what's in the background right now while she's talking. She better come out and see you. And she's not. Stay away from her. My daughter is beautiful. My daughter is not going to be some damn hooker out here on the streets with YouTube creators. Do you blame me? I have Would no... Would you your daughter be playing with older men? I have, men? I have no clue who your daughter is. Mm -hmm. Clearly, it sounds like the daughter has some promiscuity outside of the Robbie Harvey. So at this point too, the wife uh, is kind of stepping in because Becky is just going off and ranting and just refusing to believe that Robbie had nothing to do with it. Why don't, why don't you call us from that number? If, if Robbie has texted from that I'll number, why don't you call to, from I'll that number? To. So she said, it sh I will. I will in a few minutes. I will in a few minutes. Would I bring my wife on the phone right now? I don't know, Robbie Harvey. I don't know what people would do. I'm very upset. I'm very confused. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is not true. Listen, you have every right to be upset. I will go to the police with you. I will go to police with you. You're almost an adult that if I can just stop her from any of this other garbage, I don't want my daughter running the roads or getting pregnant or involved with married men or any of this that goes on in life. 
and I just don't. I don't put up and condone this kind of behavior. Listen to me. Listen to me. Do you know the person I'm covering right now? It's so bizarre that if, okay, this was a real distressed mom, and you're calling somebody accusing them of doing inappropriate things with your minor child, and they're literally saying, I'll come to the police with you. Why is she ignoring that? Why is she still, like, just going off and ranting and, and talking about her daughter being promiscuous with older men? Why wouldn't you immediately be like, okay, yep, Let's go to police then. You you say you're innocent. She apparently has all this evidence of text messages and stuff. Then let's go to the police. Why does she just keep going right over that? Yes, I do. I okay. Do, know. I do. do yes, you know I do. what I he know. is accused of? Robbie seems like a very intelligent man. He also is aware of what's going on and that people might not like him very much because he is covering this case. Do you realize what's going on? Do you realize what kind of a target I have on my back? Do you realize that people will go through great lengths to try to get me into tr into trouble? Yes, I do. I okay. Do, no, I what, do. do yes, you know do. what he know, is accused of? Personally, yes, I do. They live down the road. Okay. And I'm tired of all... So she just said they live down the road. So are these J.P. Miller's neighbors? Who is his, who, who did he, here, listen to me, listen to me. Who did. He's over here trying to have sex with my daughter too. Exactly. So who do you I'm think a he's. For a daughter. What would you do if your daughter was a whore? Becky just revealed that J.P. is allegedly trying to have sex with her underage daughter as well. Your daughter, listen to me. Who do you? I guess it's normal, but it's not normal. Listen, you know? stop, relax. You're Can upset. You help me because her dad will not listen to me for the damn. I don't know what to do with her. Relax. Who is his number one enemy on social media right now? Who? John Paul. Who is his number one enemy on social I media? Think it's CJ. I don't know. I heard that. No, it's me. He brought me up nine times on oh, national well, television well i well i know that cj is always stalking around here you know i see him all the time trying to hide and spy on people okay and it's really weird you know who's cj cj is always stalking around here you know i see him all the time trying to hide and spy on people okay and it's really weird you know i'm just trying to to live my life i live over here in myrtle beach in south carolina okay. and all this noise is going on okay because mike and miller herself well we can't help we cannot bring micah back micah was very disturbed and so is so is john john is a very messed up person you know and so is mike They're, they've got their issues but let me tell you, that has nothing to do with my daughter and, and my problems and all this. Now, she calls these YouTube creators. CJ was in my damn driveway, you know, getting a job the other day. Robbie Harvey's in her phone, and she's obsessed with these YouTube creators trying to have sex with all of them. Okay, listen. Now, okay, John I Paul Miller was hiding in this damn magnolia tree not long ago. So she brings up a magnolia. What is up with the magnolia trees? <laughs> what the hell? All right, what did she say that John Paul was doing? John what? Paul Miller was hiding this damn magnolia tree not long ago out in the yard. I'm sure he's getting from her, too. Okay. And I can't stop Okay, her. all right. I don't know if y'all are all in this together. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Okay, let's reset here, okay? I mean, I thought you were in Florida. I'm all the way up here. I am in Florida. I, I am in Florida. That's why we're thinking that if, why... if JP is one of Robbie's nemesis and his uh -huh. he doesn't like him, like well, he did call, come falling out of this magnolia tree. Well, that's what I'm saying. What like I'm saying. he might have used technology. He did come falling out of this magnolia tree. How many freaking trees is this man climbing? This is the hundredth time that people have mentioned magnolia trees. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's like what I'm saying. he might have used technology he, to we, recreate so my husband's me. phone number. That's if you're saying that he's that's what I'm calling. telling you. Well, that's I, what I'm trying to figure out. Listen to me. Numbers. Well, if it does come to find out that we can um, make false phone numbers and false phone calls, then who does who is to say that Micah's phone call to nine one one was never tampered with? Listen to that's me. What I've just learned today are ghost numbers these people are doing. That she just learned today that there is ghost numbers that these people are doing at nine nineteen in the morning.
Uh, Robbie, I just don't think you're this kind of person. My daughter, I don't know what to do with her. Okay, listen. He over here in the driveway. He's sucking and it's not acceptable. Okay, listen to me. I'm Use going. My language. No, you're fine. You're rightfully upset. I would. Okay, now that we know where we're at, I completely understand where. What... I don't mean to just call you up and go crazy. But no, I, I would. I would do the same thing if I was you. I would do the same thing if I was you. Okay, you're rightfully upset. That's why I'm fine with bringing my wife on this phone call to, mm -hmm. and you can expose right. me. I don't think that you would bring her on there otherwise. Okay. But when I talked to Katie about this this afternoon. I don't even know I'm who Katie down is, ma'am. So Robbie and the mom are just talking for a few minutes. The mom is basically saying, you know, my daughter is promiscuous. My daughter wants to be with older men. She's obsessed with YouTube creators. She's doing naughty things in the driveway with them. I want you to listen very carefully to this clip. I'm gonna play it and then I'll talk about it. Okay. That, when I called to Katie about this this afternoon, I don't even know I'm who Katie is, ma'am. When I call Katie this afternoon, I'm gonna sit down and have a talk with Katie. Didn't earlier in the very beginning of the phone call, she said like get she asked to see the phone, almost pretended like Katie was there. But now when Katie gets home later this afternoon, okay. So there are inconsistencies in her phone call for sure. Ma'am, I don't Remember even know Katie. who Katie is. This is my daughter, Katie. She's obsessed with you. Oh, and also that's when we finally get the name drop. She slips up and finally says Katie. This is my daughter, Katie. She's obsessed with you and CJ and John Miller, you know. And, okay. Uh, okay. So again, her. remember what I told you guys, Katie. From the first phone call. And now he's going to talk to this lady and try to figure out, he's going to say, well, where was Katie on this day? Because I received a phone call and I want to see if it's the same girl that you're talking about. The tree, he almost broke his back over here, mm -hmm. trying to get his sucked. So, ma'am? Um, Why don't you call hold me on, on hold my on. phone? Hold on, hold on. Again, I'm calling the police. Well, you're going to call the police now. Why didn't you call the police the first time or the second time? If this is a reoccurring thing, why are you threatening Robbie to call the police on somebody else? Just call the police. Okay, I'm going to help you, okay? He tried to run with his pants down to his ankle. Let me ask, can I ask you a question? Okay. Where was Katie last Sunday night? She's probably over there at the church. You know, just at around 11 o'clock at night. I didn't catch all of that, but she said probably something maybe hanging around the church. Are we speaking about Solid Rock Church? Was Katie and Becky members of Solid Rock? They were in the neighborhood. They were obviously local. Where was Katie last I Sunday know. night? She sneaks out all the time. I can't keep okay. up. I, I can't get no sleep due to it. She sneaks out all the time. Okay. okay. Um, Good question. I don't know. Do you know where she was? I received the call last Sunday okay. night from a, a young lady named Katie. She told me really? she, was, she was trapped. That you Listen to me, listen to me. And I have okay. the 911 call. He cuts out a little bit of personal information here, but he's just explaining to Becky uh, the 911 call he received. Okay. No, uh -uh. okay. no she did listen not to know me. him on the phone. Listen to me. Please don't tell her, Robbie. No. She will beat me to a pulp. Listen to me. That's interesting. Becky just says she'll beat me to a pulp. So it gives you a little bit of context that Becky doesn't really just seem to have much control over her promiscuous daughter. She says she sneaks out all the time, that she's with older men, she's out of control, she doesn't know what to do, her father doesn't know what to do. Katie's definitely being quite wild, and possibly JP's taking advantage of that. Also, to say that your daughter would beat you to a pulp if Robbie disclosed that he's talking to her right now. In my opinion, this mother is very scared of a daughter and cannot control her. I think there is a little bit more about their relationship further we go along, but just to give you an idea of the mom and daughter's relationship. Okay, and my wife, my wife is here. She can confirm what I'm about to tell you. No, you're fine. My wife is here. She can confirm what I'm about to tell you. We received a phone call around 11 o'clock your time last Sunday night. It was a young girl. She said, Robbie, it's Katie. And I said, I'm sorry, I don't know a Katie, who is it? She said, you know exactly who I am. And I said, I don't she know. She said, yes, she called and said no, someone wouldn't let her out of the hotel. That's right. Did y'all hear that? She gave details of a phone call, of my first phone call before I gave details. Around 11 o'clock your time last Sunday night, it was a young girl. 
She said, Robbie, it's Katie. And I said, I'm sorry, I don't know a Katie. Who is it? She said, you know exactly who I am. And I said, I don't she know. Said, yes, she called and said no to someone and wouldn't let her out of the hotel. That's right. She told me the I same thing. She hung up on me. That's right. And I called I police. Yeah, Robbie had called police. They did a welfare check on JP, found nothing. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit to this part. I called police. Yes. What they say? They responded to John Paul's house because, listen, John Paul, I heard him in the background. She told me she was trapped and she started crying. I, she called and I, it hung up. Yes, you're not lying. This, she called me and the phone hung up. Yes. And my I wife know. is here. Listen, Tiffany. Yes. Did, did you that... would not know this. You would not know this. You would not know this unless it happened. That's right. And so I called police immediately. And I called the FBI immediately. And I said, uh -huh. y'all have to get to John Paul's house right now. Right. And so they did. They showed up. Okay. They did not find anything. So now you're telling me she was in a hotel room. Yes, she was in a hotel. Last, you asked me last Sunday. I'm trying to think. And she always says she's going over to the church. And I don't like to try to spy or nothing, but I try sometimes. I got to keep an eye on my daughter, you know. Well, yes, ma'am. Again, speculation, but I think JP was meeting up with minors in hotel rooms. <laughs> well, with his kind of history, why would you be letting her no, go to the church? Well, Tiffany, she doesn't have control of her. That's what well, she's I saying. I guess she wants to do justice for Micah, you know, with the other girls out there. Okay, so I immediately had no clue who Katie was. Please tell me that she's not, like, out there protesting and JP's taking advantage of minors who are protesting his wife's. And the police asked me who's a Katie and I was like I don't know and so I, I gave them a phone number that I thought could be a Katie but it was it was not her so now we know who Katie is well, I think so we need the last the name if they are going to use your phone number and try to set you up then Mr. Robbie Harvey for what he's doing then because I know because I'm getting her phone today and I'm going through it because I know that he's, she's been over there. I have been over there spying and I have my pictures and I've got my file folder ready. She just said, I'm going to go through, I'm going to wait till she gets home. I'm going to go through her pictures, but then she has a file folder ready of evidence. This woman is all over the place with her story. None of it's making sense. You've either gone through the phone and have seen the photos and have the evidence or you don't. I certainly wouldn't be calling somebody to accuse them of such a heinous thing, especially if I have no evidence to do so. And I am going to expose him. He is not going to be having sex with my daughter anymore. Okay. She is not of age. Okay. Anymore, he shouldn't have the first time. Okay, let and me... And I'm not lying when I say he came flying out of this magnolia tree in my yard. I believe you. Like, a lot of this information is public now. The magnolia tree is public. It doesn't sound... Why the hell would JP be in a magnolia tree if he's possibly at a hotel? Just a few months back, and, okay. and, you know, people are like, why okay. do you fall out of a magnolia tree? I don't know if they're talking All right. about me or what. It's so embarrassing, but... Don't, yes, be, so don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. Listen, I'm... Okay, we're on the same page now, okay? <laughs> That's why... He's okay. really messing with me now. I know, I know, I know, I, sweetie. He really got me to believe him. He's so believable. I know, so I know. Okay, listen to me. He's so convincible. <laughs> um, I don't know. She's she's talking about how convincing JP can be, but again, without knowing if this phone call is real or not, I think she just might be. Now he's been I'm having her over there because she called and said she was stuck. He said last Sunday around eleven. I didn't realize that's where she was. Okay. You must have not going to let her out. That whole hotel would go up in flames. She was All right. upset when she got home. I thought she was over at uh, Michelle's house. What time? Get what home. time? What time did she get home? I, it, it was kind of around maybe midnight because I got upset about it. That's right. Call. Here's my theory. Here's a theory. Theory. So if that phone call was done at eleven o'clock, and Becky is now saying that she, Katie called both her mom and Robbie, saying that she couldn't leave a hotel room but then shows up in about an hour back home. So if Robbie got the phone call and they hung up, to be able to get home in an hour, Katie would 
leave the hotel room soon after hanging up the phone and go home. Maybe knowing, JP and her knowing that were they even in a hotel room at all? I don't know. But either JP and this Katie girl could have either been in a hotel, made the phone calls from there, and then left to get back to their correspondent, to JP back home and to Katie back home before midnight. Of course the police aren't going to find anything. Katie is already gone. So was that an attempt to make Robbie call the police for a welfare check? They get there and JP's like, Oh, what time is it? Tell me what you think. So it, it, so they called me at 11. I can, I can yeah. text you the phone call. It, they called uh -huh. me at 11. If she was kidnapped, you telling me that she made these phone calls and escaped and got home all within an hour? <laughs> okay. So at this point, they feel like they're finally uh, getting somewhere. They're, they're comparing their stories. They're trying to figure out where Katie was that night, who she was with. So we're on the same okay. page now. Okay. That's what's going on, Ben. I know what's going on okay. because her and John... I can't make her do. I can only make okay. her so much. I'm not trying. Here's what I, I want. Here's what I, I want you to do. Away. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but I just thought it was really weird that she used such an informal name for him. Anytime I've seen John Paul reference, it's been with John Paul. However, they're possibly neighbors. So when you're friendly with somebody or you know them, you might not use their full name or it might be a nickname. So you just shorten it to John. That gives me the impression that this woman has a deeper relationship with John Paul than she's alluding to. For my daughter, I've got to go down to the police department. No. And, uh, can yes, I, can I, can no, I, can no. I do something for you? What am I supposed to do? Help me right, because just, your dad will not. Well, now I understand you're, you being upset. I, 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 so I apologize. I this morning and I know I'll ever do that, but I can't be had to. So I apologize for being rude. Now it makes sense. But that's okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to understand. I didn't know about ghost numbers and all. And I don't allow or condone all of this behavior. Now, I know she's almost 18, so there's only so little I can do. But still, she's not 18 for another nine months. I don't want to be on the phone right now. And I'll just have to call you back, I guess, after you call. Can and you I'll give me... Can, I, can I'll just call you from her phone, and then we'll see about this ghost number. See, now, don't, she says she'll call me from her phone, her daughter's phone. She's supposed to have her daughter's phone right now. She could call my wife's phone right now she kept saying uh that katie was there and then i think there was two times that we pointed it out where she said that she would have to get it later or wait till katie gets home or something these phones and they've got some ai and some ghost yes uh, numbers and it's not your number but it comes up like it's your number well he, he, he came calling up i said cj he's not of age he was his face turned bright red i felt bad for him you know she started screaming at me Beating on the Again, another comment about her daughter beating on her, possibly being physically violent, which is why the mom probably feels like she can't really say much or do much because then she's just going to get beaten up, which, quite frankly, my, my kids can try to put their hands on me, but I'm going to tell them how it is. So I wasn't going to let her go up to the church to uh, protest and all. There wasn't many people up there. But I did because Michelle and Jennifer said, well, Miss Becky, will you please let her ask it out? Okay. That's where we learn Becky's name. She says she's talking about talking about maybe some friends trying to convince her to let Katie go up to the church, uh, and they refer to her as Miss Becky. You know, I don't want to just keep her inside all the time. She's not going to like that. She's not going to. She she will get in my face and all at that age, you know. Yeah. And try to hold my own. And her father, she's a piece of crap. I'm not calling in about nothing. I have not called any police. I have not went over to John Paul Miller. I'm trying to get my file ready. But when I slam his ass, everyone's going down. With Again, that file. She's got a file of evidence ready, but not ready to go to the police or haven't yet. Why? Nobody has the evidence I have. And my file's just getting bigger. And I have to take okay. the right ones with him. So now that you're not involved, you're in Florida. Is that all right, now listen. This is a critical part of this phone call because she claims she has, I think, 300 pieces of evidence against John Paul Miller. I didn't know if you were up here or what. No, ma'am, I'm in Florida. Um, so. That's what Katie said, and I didn't know. Let me. Um, I'm going. I have. But I'm Miss Becky. Miss Becky? I know that you're in Florida, but stop getting blown.
It's from my daughter. Well, nice, nice to meet you, Becky. I'm so sorry. I'm so I mean, this is embarrassing. <laughs> I should have introduced myself and all. But I have not taken my medication yet. And Katie just, she's just a god at 17. She's mean as all get out. <laughs> Becky just said I haven't taken my medication yet, girl. You haven't even taken your medication yet, and you're telling me that you didn't know about ghost numbers prior, and now all of a sudden, this morning, that you just happen to be calling Robbie, but you've been able to learn about ghost numbers. Not only that, get Robbie's phone number. How did you get Robbie's phone number? If it was in Katie's phone, and Katie wasn't home, you said that Katie would beat you if she even knew that you were talking to him. So obviously you're not gonna ask her. We're getting somewhere. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the YouTubers? How embarrassing for you if this case gets cracked by a bunch of YouTubers. <laughs> Again, I'll link this down below. I have a few things to still talk about, so I'm gonna let you watch the rest of the clips. Also, uh, I figured I'd throw this in according to some sources. I cannot confirm or deny this. There are no, what I'm told, according to sources, there are no magnolia trees in John Paul's neighborhood. I might have misheard as well. I may have to go back, but I thought Becky said something about the night that Robbie received that phone call. She thought that Katie was at a friend's house, but then later on says that, no, she was actually, she called me from a hotel room saying that she couldn't get out. Why wasn't the police called immediately that night if my daughter calls saying that she's hostage? Also calling Robbie Harvey instead of calling the police right away. I don't believe she was kidnapped whatsoever. A commenter expressed concern that JP might be attempting to involve Robbie in false reporting. However, again, I believe Robbie is a very intelligent man and can see right through this and understands that there might be enemies made by covering this case. And someone else points out that if JP is behind all of this with the ghost numbers and even possibly convincing a mother that Robbie is having um, inappropriate relationships, imagine maybe what he's been doing to the Francis sisters. Robbie still claims at the end of this live stream that there's about 80% of stuff that we still haven't seen. The morning that Micah died, she had gotten dressed for work and was seeing uh, leaving her apartment with pretty much just enough time to get to work. We know that she didn't go to work. She ended up going to Dick's Pawn Shop. JP in his interview said, I believe he sent four emails to Micah the day that she died, but two of those emails were left unread. I also asked why no suicide note was left behind, although she was willing to call 911 and let them know what she was planning on doing, but I don't think that this was planned. Possibly the contents of those emails was the final straw for her. These are questions we're not going to really know until Micah's lawyer can get her hands on the Apple Watch, but were the emails also sent consecutively? Were they sent after she passed? Were they sent before? These are all questions that really need to get answered. Now a lot of you discuss that Micah herself wasn't actually ever prescribed lithium from a doctor. There are records of her trying to go to mental health institutes and JP almost getting in the way of her doing so. And we do know that JP was prescribed lithium. He said it himself. But I don't know if Micah was just taking his medication. But then they separate. They're not living together for at least a year. I don't believe she could have or would have continued to take his medication. What happens if you just completely stop taking lithium? I can't imagine she would have access to it if she wasn't prescribed herself. JP was though. But you're not gonna like go to your estranged or go to your ex or go to someone that you're separating and get their prescription medication, right? I wonder if there's a connection to just being off a of lithium. I still believe we gotta wait until we get our hands on this Apple Watch, but until then, I will make sure I keep you guys updated. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Also, if you don't want to miss any new videos, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in my next one.